A good estimation of weight is BMI, or body mass index. We can calculate our BMI using the standard BMI chart. Say that John here weighs 190 pounds and is 5 foot and 11 inches. Then his BMI is around 25 to 30. A healthy BMI is around 18.5 to 25. To be at a healthy weight, John should focus on losing about 5 to 10 percent of his body weight, which means about 10 to 20 pounds for him. Rather than trying to lose all this weight in a couple of weeks, John sets a realistic goal of losing two pounds a week for the next month. When setting weight loss goals, slow and steady wins the race. Losing too much weight within a short amount of time can be dangerous and unsustainable. Try finding your BMI on this graph. Is it within the healthy BMI range? Another thing we should do is exercise regularly. Be physically active. Try to get 30 to 60 minutes of exercise in every day. Find exercises that are fun and fit into your schedule. Exercising with friends or through class often helps us keep it up. Another lifestyle choice is to adopt healthy eating habits. One of the most important habits is to control the portion of foods you eat so you don't overeat. Some experts think that controlling portions is even more important than choosing the types of food we eat. With respect to types of food, experts recommend we choose foods with a low glycemic index. Here's a glycemic index chart. Pure glucose has a glycemic index of 100. A typical apple has a glycemic index between 30 and 40. That's much lower than a slice of white bread, which has a glycemic index of about 70. It turns out both the apple and the bread have the same amount of carbohydrates, but the carbohydrates in the bread are broken down much faster. This makes the blood sugar in our body spike much faster for bread than for the apple. A diet of all apples would get pretty boring. What other kinds of foods should we look at when we're trying to control our blood sugar? Most fruits like strawberries, grapefruit, cherries, and peaches have low to medium glycemic indices. But make sure to watch out for watermelon, which has a deceptively high GI of 80. Canned fruits and juices also have high GIs. Low carb foods like avocados, meats, fish, and leafy vegetables have barely any glycemic index at all. We should be careful about starchy vegetables, like potatoes, parsnips, and sweet potatoes. But we can enjoy most non-starchy vegetables without worrying about spikes in our blood sugar levels. Minimally processed whole grains like oats, quinoa, and brown rice also have fiber, which causes our stomach to empty out into our small intestines more slowly. So what do all these delicious but low glycemic index foods have in common? Well, they're minimally processed, high in protein, high in unsaturated fat, and low in carbs. Always choose minimally processed foods such as fresh produce and homemade meals, and avoid packaged foods like canned foods, energy bars, and microwavable meals. You can find the glycemic index of certain foods in your diet by visiting www.glycemicindex.com. By taking these steps, you can keep diabetes under control or prevent it altogether. You will also just feel a whole lot better and improve your health overall. Thanks for listening.